Welcome back. More than 800 people died from overdosing on fentanyl last year, a huge increase from the year before. So San Diego District Attorney Summer Stefan is working uh, to tell us more about what her office is doing in the fight with this battle of fentanyl. Good morning, Summer Stefan. Good morning to you. Good morning, Lauren. Well, we've seen a number, we've been covering a number of events uh, to raise the awareness of fentanyl, what it is, how deadly it is, and that it's affecting young people more than ever. Tell us some of the latest statistics and why we're seeing such an increase right now. We are seeing an increase year after year, but what was really disturbing is in 2021, 12 children, one as young as 13 years old, lost their life to fentanyl. This is an unacceptable situation. It's a true emergency for our nation and our region when over 100,000 people lose their life to overdose, but 70,000 of them from fentanyl. This is a crisis and we're trying to work with everybody to treat it like the crisis it is. Lauren, it's not enough that our office has increased our prosecution of those horrible fentanyl dealers that are poisoning our community by 55%. My team is working around the clock to bring justice, but that's after the fact, after somebody dies, after somebody's harmed. Let's help our kids ahead of time by teaching them what is going on and helping them to build resilience and protect themselves. We've also seen, in addition to the increasing number of overdose deaths, we've also seen an increase in the number of street drugs that are confiscated that are laced with fentanyl. That number seems to be going up quite a bit as well. Absolutely, you know, San Diego County is the biggest gateway for fentanyl for the nation. 60% of fentanyl that has been intercepted at our three points of entry is um, comes from here, as opposed to the 300 points of entry in the nation. And when it comes in, it's flooding the market. The cartels are choosing fentanyl because it is so cheap to make. You know, they don't care about life. They're just greedy, trying to make themselves richer on the back of our kids. And so they're making this in Mexico in a lab. They're just put a bunch of stuff in a bucket and it includes fentanyl because it is so cheap and it's so powerful. It's 50 times stronger than heroin. And we thought heroin was the holy grail of drugs. And when it's put in substances in such a small amount, two milligrams can kill you. That's like 20 salt grains. That's how small that is uh, the, the deadly effect that we're seeing. It's you're right, it's laced in cocaine, in methamphetamine, but also in things that look like pharmaceutical products like Oxy, Percocet, Xanax. Many of our community are suffering from mental health effects from isolation, other things. And now this is put in things that look like pharmaceutical products. And so I know you're saying that oftentimes people will tune out because they don't think they're at risk or they don't think their loved ones are at risk. And your message is really to kind of shake them and say, no, 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 this is this is affecting more people than ever. And even though you think you're not at risk, here's how it's it's affecting people that may be close to you. That's exactly right. I've talked to families that, you know, are just shocked, you know, they find their child. I was with a parent yesterday, 14 year old, dead in their bedroom. They, he had ordered Xanax on Snapchat. And now the parent walks in and finds this child dead. There is no family that's immune. You're talking about a substance that has killed more 18 to 45 year olds than any other cause, car accidents, guns, uh, cancer, COVID. So we have to treat it like it's happening right in our midst and talk about it. Talk to your kids today. Go to SanDiegoDA.com. Learn about the signs. Talk to them about fentanyl. Talk to them about this deadly surge and that yesterday's experimentation is today's funeral. Kids 
can't experiment anymore because the experimentation is going to end up with fentanyl and it's going to end up in death. Well, Summer, are there any upcoming events or awareness activities or resources that you can point to for parents who may be interested? Well, there, there are constant activities. We held a 200 person forum yesterday. We're joined by a bunch of uh, seventh, eighth graders, high schoolers, their parents. And there's gonna be another event tonight at One Safe Place in San Marcos. These will continue, but the hope, Lauren, is that Supervisor Desmond and Tara Lawson Reamer joined with me and the board unanimously voted to bring back the education and training that was removed in 2009 and defunded that helps kids in schools and their parents to learn what the risks are. We've left our kids exposed, our parents exposed without the information that they need in their health classes, in their schools to protect themselves. Our kids are smart, but they need the information. We need to bring back that education about the impact of drugs to our kids in our schools. Very important work. District Attorney Summer Stefan, as always, appreciate the time this morning. Thank you, Lauren. Absolutely.